guys, it's Abby. I'm here um, today with a really fun video. I think it's a fun video. Um, these are my Holy Grail makeup products, and I'm so excited to finally be at the level where I feel like I have Holy Grail products. Like, I've tried enough that I can say this is, these are my favorite things. Um, that's just, like, coming from a few months ago where I was like, I, I don't know, like, I guess chapstick and some, I don't know. Um, so I'm really excited to be able to be able to speak about these products enough. Um, sorry, I'll stop touching my face. To be able to speak about these products and share what I find to be the best in the different makeup categories. So let's dive right in. <laughs> Did you like that? Dive right in to my Holy Grail makeup foundation or makeup. Um, the first is the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. Can you see that? Is it glary? The Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. I am in the shade Warm Beige, just for reference. Um, I love this foundation. They marketed it as your skin but better. And I was looking and watching other YouTube vloggers and being like, oh, Okay, yeah, you say that because your skin looks flawless or you're just gorgeous, so of course it's going to look like your skin but better. Duh, like, duh. You can't look any more gorgeous than you already are. So I was very skeptical when I bought it. And then I put it on and I was like, oh, well, hello there. <laughs> like, it really does make you feel and look like you slept the best sleep you've ever had in your life. Like, you didn't indulge in too many mimosas or too many moscatos or too many Rieslings or whatever your drink of choice is. Your skin really looks amazing with this. And it's one of my favorite, it is my favorite foundation, hands down, period. I will, unless something else wows me as much as this, I will purchase it until the day I die. It is a medium to full coverage foundation with coconut water, so it helps to hydrate. I have... Um, Combination skin, it can get a little oily in my T-zone. This does not make me feel super oily at all, even with the coconut water. And I was really worried about that because everyone that I watched had dry skin, which I think 99% of the YouTube vloggers have dry skin. I don't. I live in Florida. I have combination skin, and in the summer, it's probably more oily than combo. But anyway, favorite foundation, hands down, ever. Try it out. Go to Sephora. Ask for a sample. That's what I did just to make sure I was investing in a good product. You won't be, you will not be disappointed, I promise you. My next, I feel like these products are gonna come as no surprise. My next is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. <gasps> if the Born This Way Foundation was your skin but better, this is like taking it to the next level. Like, oh my gosh, I can't even say enough about this. I use um, this dim light as an all over like setting powder um, and then I use this incandescent light as like a subtle highlight um, and then this last one radiant light I was using more um, in the summertime as a highlight because it's a little bit more champagne-y and to me it made sense in the summer because I was a little bit darker. Um, so it just made sense to me as a highlight in the summer. But now I'm using, like I said, the incandescent light as a highlighter. And oh my god, like can we just, okay, I will do swatches for you. This first one is the in dim light. It's so hard because my skin is so dark. See, you can barely see it. Like it just blends so nicely in with my skin. The next, which makes it a perfect setting power. This next one is the Subtle Highlight. Um, sorry, I'm not trying to flip you off. The Subtle Highlight shade that I've been using. Oh, come on, how beautiful is that? Like, hello, unicorns. Oh, so pretty. And that one, I don't want to screw it up. That one is an incandescent light. And then this last one is the Radiant Light. And like I said, this was more of the highlight for over the summer. See what I mean? It's more champagne-y, so it kind of makes a little bit more sense. For summertime, you can't really. It's so pretty. 
so it's expensive it retails for $58 but it's so worth it like you have to try it using it all over as a setting powder I feel like it makes all of my fine lines way less noticeable I need to these expression lines are killing me so go go get that like now um my next is this Urban Decay Naked Flushed um I do like the bling it on blush palette oh do my bad this is the Urban Decay Naked 2 um basics eyeshadow palette and I love it like I love every single shade in here um it's perfect for every day you can do a smoky eye you can do a natural eye you can do so many things I haven't mastered the smoky eye yet like that is so gross and dirty the mirror not the shadows I haven't mastered the smoky eye yet I'm still really working my hardest um I tried it the other day and I texted a few friends like oh my god epic fail but I will master a smoky eye and I will show you using this palette. These shades are out of control. And it's, the full size palettes are very expensive. This was perfect for me because I didn't need a huge amount of eyeshadows as a beginner. Like, I just needed the basics. Hence the name, Naked 2 Basics. Favorite eyeshadow palette, like, ever. It's what I travel with. Because when we travel, we're visiting family, so I don't need to be all, like, done up every day. Um... I just don't. The next one now is the Urban Decay Naked T Flushed Palette. Um, this is in Native. This blush, so pigmented. Like, can you see that? You're gonna. Of course, you can see it. I don't want to get it. How pretty is that? It's coming across as patchy, but you look like. It just takes the littlest bit of powder and you got to tap your brush off um, otherwise you're gonna look like Barbie but so pretty and the highlight in this as well I use it sometimes too like if I'm trying to mix it up um, we'll put it right here it's a more subtle highlight and then the bronzer I'm pretty tan so I don't need bronzer a lot um, I haven't gotten into contouring yet because when I was going to start, that's when everyone was like, no, no, no contouring. Now let's strobe, strobe, strobing. So, um, ooh, I got a little carried away. That's the bronzer from this. It's very subtle. It's kind of light for my skin tone. Um, you can hardly see it. But I loved the blush shade and the highlight shade in it so much that I didn't care about the um, bronzer being light for me. So I am a hot uh, mess from all the swatches. <laughs> um, next is the Benefit High Beam Highlight. I have it on today. Can you see? So pretty, right? I think I'm just going to do the rest of the video like this so you can enjoy the highlight as much as I do. This is awesome. Like, best investment for a highlight ever. I, it was so worth $26. Like, are you kidding me? Again, this is a product I will buy forever. I don't care what other products come out. This is awesome, and I keep shaking it up and down. It is the Benefit High Beam, 26 bucks, like, no-brainer. You have to try it. It's so easy to use. I was so intimidated by the powder uh, highlights. I couldn't get the right amount on my face, um, and I tried all different brushes, so I just figured I just couldn't do it, and then I tried this. Shut up. Like, get out. It is such a perfect highlight. And then I have more products for four more products the Anastasia brow whiz for these eyebrows which I'm not gonna get too close because they need a good waxing but this helps fill in especially this eyebrow is pretty sparse right here but once I use it I don't look it doesn't look as bad and it looks very natural the next product oh my gosh the benefit BB air patrol for your eyelids sunscreen and eyeshadow primer in one with a moisturizer like I wear big sunglasses I'm one of those girls I wear big sunglasses all the time but to be able to put eye, um, sunscreen on such a delicate area of your body and have it do so much more and have it help your eyeshadow pop this is so awesome and it you only need the tiniest little bit so it's going to last forever so again like go get it what are you waiting for obviously you're waiting for me to finish but then you can go get it um 
And then I grabbed this Buxom. I got it in a, I think it was um, like a 100 point perk. Um, it's just a lip gloss, lip gloss. And during my everyday life, I really just wear lip glosses. Um, I'm running out of room on my hands to put this. It doesn't come out as like Barbie pink as it looks in the bottle. Here, let me. It's just very subtle and pink. Sorry, you couldn't see me swatching it. But it's very subtle and pink and it's a little tingly on the lips. It doesn't make my lips plump. I don't think that was the purpose of it. It's My lips are just sensitive and it's a little bit tingly to me. But every day if you see me out, I've got some sort of lip gloss on and it's typically this one. And my last product is actually just the sample size. Um, and I will be buying more of it. It's the Rollerball Mascara by Benefit. It looks so, can you see my eyelashes? Don't look at my eyebrows because like I said, they need to be waxed. But with these eyelashes with this, oh, amazing. I love it. Um, so there were my Holy Grail items. These are all items that I really got excited about when I could figure out how to work them and use them and make them function in my everyday life as just a stay-at-home mom. So um, a lot of them are Urban Decay and Benefit. <laughs> so I guess those would be my favorite brands. But that Too Faced foundation, mm, girl, it is quickly obviously making Too Faced into my top three favorite products in the hour. And never mind. They're all my favorite products and they're all my favorite brands. And I really want to try the Hourglass blushes and the Hourglass bronzers as well. Um, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Go to Sephora. Check out these products. You cannot go wrong with them. They're absolutely amazing and gorgeous. And the color payoff is just unheard of. So um, I will see you guys next time. Give this video a big thumbs up and spread the word. Don't forget to subscribe because the next giveaway at 100 is going to be out of control. Like I'm already making lists of ideas for it. I'm trying to come up with like a cute theme. So um, I'm excited. All right. Thanks, guys. See you next time. Bye.